Hey guys, finally got my Arbor Press back. The mods are done to it. Uh, what I had the machinist do was I had him put a hex on here so I could run a socket on it. Um, I think it's an uh, inch and an eighth, yep. This is a 12 point. I need to get a 6 point in a mid length or deep well. And I need to get a longer ratchet, half inch drive, probably three to four inches longer than this. But that's uh, that's cheap, cheap enough anyway. So, um, and I forgot to tell the guy to drill and tap the end for a quarter twenty bolt. So what I ended up doing here was uh, I had this old scooter wheel. <laughs> These things have come in handy over the years for a lot of things, um, but. Uh, I took a piece of PVC and I cut a little spacer um, to keep it tight in here. And then I just epoxied it on. Uh, of course I sanded everything up to create some bite for the epoxy to, uh, to dig into and to hold it. But uh, I also had them open up the throat on this. Um, I went um, originally it was um, inch and a half on top and then it was inch and seven sixteenths on the bottom and the casting was really crappy so uh, I had them open it up to an inch and thirteen sixteenths so that's gonna allow me to uh, press some larger drivers and different things like that so that'll be great um, yeah so I'm pretty excited um, we're getting closer to uh, building all those rockets that'll be fun and um, I gotta make a stand for it yet um, I'm thinking all thread, but no place in the area is carrying or carries what I'm looking for. So I'm thinking about doing something out of plywood on edge, because plywood has incredible strength uh, vertically. So uh, I'm thinking about uh, making my own LVL, uh, laminating a bunch of pieces together and then uh, just bolting it to that with a base, which will get bolted to the bench then. Um, but you know we'll, we'll see what happens so anyway that's that and um, I built or I made a little awl here for punching fuse holes now this is a uh, eighth inch and that's approximately the size fuse that I run so um, I think this will come in real handy and I don't like using a drill because it's just um, it kind of tears the tube up at times so I want something clean so, yeah, anyway, so that's that, guys. Just a couple more uh, pyro-related items here. I'm um, getting closer to, uh, to uh, doing what I want, so I think that's awesome. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think, and if you guys got any ideas for this, uh, how I should build a stand, um, I think i got to get it up 10 inches off the, from, the, uh, from the counter to the bottom of the arbor press. Um, I'll have to do the math on that again. I'm not 100% certain. But, uh, yeah, if you guys got any ideas how I should do that, that'd be great. Um, I'd love to hear them. So, all right, hope everybody's well. Take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.